Greetings and welcome back to another episode of the daily run and today we're playing as Apollyon. How appropriate it is that the first item I found was the cone head because if I had to describe this run in just one item it would probably be that. That's not to say that the item or the run was bad, I actually think it was pretty decent but it was more of the sense that I made some mistakes which I feel I really I, like I shouldn't make and they mainly came to inexperience with the character. The first thing I would like to point out is that the Void is a very interesting item. At first I thought it's very one-dimensional, but now that I think about it, I think it has a bit more merit than I gave it. Because at first I thought if you see an active item you're always gonna suck it up. There's really usually no reason not to do it unless maybe it has a negative effect. So something like Blood Rites, maybe your Ivy Back or maybe even Forget Me Now are not items that you wanna suck up because basically you want to control those effects. But items maybe like the Necronomicon, the Shub the Whoop or something like that, usually there's no reason not to suck it up. Especially if you have already some items sucked up previously, you're just adding on top of the effects that you already have. Void does have some inter interesting uses, but I think the act of sucking up passive items and that gives you a random step upgrade or a downgrade is a much more interesting proposition and I think that's where the value of this item lies. At first I focus just on the part where you suck up active items, because obviously that's probably it's what it was marketed at, you know, that's prep the shtick of the item, but the ability to suck up passive items and gain DPS upgrades out of it is actually a power that I didn't really feel was worth it that much, but when I, you actually think about it, every time you suck up on passive item, you get a chance of getting plus one damage upgrade. Plus one damage is actually a very substantial damage upgrade, and it's something on par with uh, like small rock or maybe even the pentagram. I, I, I know that those are just a bit more, but plus one damage is actually quite a considerable stat upgrade still, and I was debating, you know, Maybe there are more opportunities where you would want to suck up passive items just because you do have a chance of getting a DPS upgrade and even if you don't get a damage upgrade you can still get a luck upgrade which is obviously a good stat or uh, get a tears up upgrade or maybe a tear delay downgrade depending how you look at it a and that's also a great update. So. I came upon the conclusion, maybe it's worth being tested, but if you have something like a HP up, an HP up in my opinion is usually not worth much, because HP in this game is just a resource you trade away to get better items or maybe more consumables or things like that, because what you do with HP mainly is trade it to the devil deals or play the devil beggar or play the blood bank. So is it really worth picking up uh, uh, an HP up, because it literally does nothing for you. In my opinion, if you have more HP than less, it's not really gonna save your run, because if you have 6 HP, as opposed to maybe something like 2, if your run is weak, eventually you're gonna get 6 times. Having more HP won't really save you. It might give you the staying power to actually get to the next box and to the next devil deal, and maybe that will be good, but most of all, items, item rooms or just devil deals don't really contain items which just save your run. It's usually a combination of items which make you really powerful. So for that reason I thought maybe you have a weak run or maybe it looks like the run will be weak if you have no other stat upgrades. Trading away HP as an item to suck it up with a void of a chance of getting a damage upgrade or just a DPS upgrade is usually worth it because th those DPS upgrades are very substantial and they do affect and help your run because even if it might seem very small like getting a 1 damage up, it might be the difference between you 5-shotting an enemy or 4-shotting an enemy. And that might not seem like much, but when you have like 5 of those enemies in the room, that actually saves you quite a substantial amount of tears, and the chance of you actually getting hit gets lower and lower. Not to say that the, that gap between you 4-shotting them and 2-shotting them just gets lower every time you pick up a damage upgrade. So I would, I actually did consider a few of those decisions throughout the run already. So for example, we got a Cat of Nine Tails, and that's an item which just gives you stats upgrades. It's usually, I, I previously I didn't see the reason, why would I ever void this up? Because it always gives me a shot speed up, which is effectively a range up, and it also gives me a some damage up. Sucking it up is a bad idea, right? Not really, because you can get a much higher damage up and you can get a tears up, and even if you get any of the other stats or maybe if one of the stats decreases, you can still get a lock up or maybe a range up or things like that. Sure, there are some cases where your speed decreases and that's quite unfortunate, and there are some cases where maybe your tear delay decreases or damage decreases, but overall, from what I found, at least on this particular run, is that the variance or maybe how much stats you get for sucking up an item uh, is usually on average much better than basically you're gaining stats and you're not losing them and I think that's uh, a good change and I really feel like that effect of the void is much more useful than the active effect. Well the active effect is nice if you can actually get some good active items to go along with it like in this case I think the pinging shares saved my run without a doubt especially at the end they do they did save me quite a few of hits and obviously pinging shares is just a great item but other items other passive items 
really wouldn't have made much of an effect. So, for example, if, like I said before, if I picked up not Cat of Nine Tails, that wouldn't be bad. But I think in return I got a teardown upgrade and a damage upgrade, which is obviously substantially better. And now that we have the debug tools and the modding tools, what you, what we can do or what I can do is just want a bunch of items in the room and then actually just void of them all of at once and see what the distribution of stats you get is. So if on average maybe you gain one stat more off or maybe if you lose one stat or whatever, and that might actually consider us or maybe tell us what on average what we expect to gain whenever we suck up an item and depending on that maybe if like the average set say on average you get maybe like a 0.2 damage up a minus one tier delay a plus 0.5 luck up then we can actually start debating whatever sucking up certain items is a better idea and if the averages are something like i just mentioned which is obviously i feel like pretty high uh, then hp ups have no reason not to be voided because i feel like it would always be a better decision so that was it for the void but i also made some other mistakes and like i said before this was daily to just my inexperience with the game because i didn't really know how void worked and i didn't even realize this effects and obviously I, I still think a lot of people don't because obviously this is still quite new the game is only like four weeks old at the point maybe not even that depending where how you look at it i, I guess not depending how you look at it it is four weeks old because third of january now is the 30th whatever drop it it's four weeks old <laughs> but it's still relatively new and that's what i'm trying to say um of course uh, some other mistakes i made throughout this run was i had a full card and what i thought i was gonna do is go to the boss rush and then of course i could teleport out with boss rush and then go to the sacrifice room and then go to the dark room and that would just give me a bonus of 5000 points because if i don't have a teleport card then obviously i can do boss rush which means i have to go to the sacrifice room immediately which means i lose that 5000 point bonus uh, I decided to drop it because I noticed that I, there's no way in hell I'm ever gonna catch it because I was at 21 minutes, I believe, when I finished Depths 1. And that was a mistake because I should have kept that card because what I should have done is go beat mom, pick up the Polaroid and then teleport out. I would just get some points for actually beating mom. There's also a chance of me getting a devil deal, not a chance, but I had a goat head so it would be guaranteed. Which means that uh, there, there was a chance of me finding something like the shovel and if I did find the shovel then I would be able to visit three more floors and then maybe visit um, the dark room as well on top of that. So there was no reason not to go, not to take the full card, that was just a mistake on my part. Uh, so even if you can do boss rush, what I'm saying is take the full card or any teleport card because doing mom is still very valuable because first of all you can get the Polaroid which allows you to play the blood banks or devil bakers which does allow you to get more items but it also gives you a chance to get uh, the devil deal which then of course can give you the shovel or maybe just some other stat upgrades which would help you out on the dark room after you teleport to it if you of course can if there's a sacrifice room on the room. Uh, and there was just one small mistake is that more of the ace of cards so the new ace of cards for example ace of clubs i just didn't use it appropriately i got ace of clubs and i decided to use the ace of spades for some reason i didn't really need the keys at that point but finding secret rooms and second secret rooms is so important because they can contain ava's runes and obviously ava's runes on a run that goes to mom is just super valuable because what you can do uh is uh, use it and go a floor deeper and that just gives you naturally a lot more points. You can see that our overall score at the end wasn't very high, it was 28,000 which is obviously quite higher than you expect for a mom run, but overall because we missed boss rush, because our exploration bonus wasn't very high, we didn't visit and find the secret rooms and our shrek bonus also was quite poor, overall uh, our score isn't that high. Our rank is okay in the top 150. Obviously, like I said, it could have been better if I didn't make those small mistakes and because I did waste quite a bit of time actually trying to get to it. I think our run would have gone and turned out in a much better direction. I would have gotten something like 32,000 points and you never know, maybe in Boss Rush or maybe one of the Devil Deals which I missed contained a good item and that would have just boosted our run overall and we would be able to actually finish it much faster. I'm not too disappointed, I'm happy how it turned out, I feel like we learned something new because of Apollyon and it seems he's one of the characters that is gonna come up quite often, I think at this point he's been here 3 or 4 times and I know that there have been like 28 dailies, yeah, uh, so 4 times is not maybe that much, but still, we will play as him and I think it's important to kind of learn the ropes of his active items to see if it's worth sucking up certain items and when it's not. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this one guys and I hope to see you next time.